Kiki. Kiki. Cat! Hello? Hello? I'm filming. It's, this is not bath time. Not on my scarf either. Go! 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 Cat! Come on, man! Get it! Go over there on the bed! You guys. Don't you dare come back over here! No! No! Kiki! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing chat spat. And I talked... Sorry about my cat. Now I talked to you guys previously about doing a mommy horror story, this chat spat. And I did decide that I do want to do that, but not for this chat spat. I actually want to get a better editor before I do that. Just because I have, I don't want to just sit there and read off a screen while you guys watch. That's kind of boring and no one's going to want that. You know, it's not going to be for good entertainment. So I do want to do something that I'm going to need a better editor for first. So I can actually like play out a story as I'm reading it. So you guys can watch it and be entertained. The cat just will not stay off right there. My goodness, don't! Nobody wants to watch you bathe! So we are going to do that. I just want to wait a little bit so I can get a better editor and figure out what I'm doing so I can actually make that entertaining to watch and not just Nikki reading off a screen. So I was thinking this morning and I'm like, you know what? I've been in the beauty community for two years now, a little bit over, maybe four months over two years. And I really do have a good idea of how things go here. And at least in my opinion, how I feel about the beauty community. And I wanted to do something about that. Now this is really for entertainment purposes only. It's supposed to be looked at as more like a joke, satire, something entertaining and fun, but there is truth there as well. You know, it is the more negative side of how I feel about the beauty community. If you guys do want me to do a more positive side like this, let me know. But these are kind of how, these are things that I feel happen in the beauty community. How viewers view us, what they think, how other creators view us and what they think. You know, the good and the bad, like what we're told and then what happens because of it. Things like that. So I really wanted to go ahead and do this just as a fun little thing of I've been here for two years and this is what I've got from it, you know, but this is a negative side, you guys. This is not going to be a whole uplifting and positive video, but it's just supposed to be kind of fun. The cat just hit the camera. He is being the biggest pain in the ass. So let me put my cat out of the room and then we'll get into this. tell you guys the 10 things that I've gotten the point of from being in the beauty community and yes this is the negative side of the beauty community so let's get started being genuine gets you the farthest but then again being genuine makes people hate you and judge you and then they go and stalk and harass you to try to prove constantly every day every second that you are not genuine you need to be relatable but if you are and you go through relatable struggles, then you're a scammer and nobody trusts you. Beauty comes from within. But if you're not caking your makeup on like Instagram beautiful, then you're ugly and you're not doing it right. Be knowledgeable and teach people what you know. So then those same people can comment a million times about how wrong you are. It's okay to make money on YouTube. You work hard. You deserve it. But if you do, then you're a total sellout and we can't trust a thing you say. And don't you dare get PR because we can't trust you then. You're just a complete sellout. I'm going to go back to watching TV with my commercials. Give back to your viewers with giveaways and let them know how grateful you are that they subscribed. Just so they can tell you that your giveaways suck, dislike the video, and then if they win, they unsub right after. Making friends is a great way to grow and be social and collaborate so you guys can grow your channels positively. But then said friends will stop talking to you, backstab you, bring down your channel, and take those 100 subs they got from you and run. Be honest and be yourself. But then deal with being called a liar every single day and being hated for who you associate with. And then the mistakes that that person made are now yours to be judged for too. But damn it, be yourself. Anybody from any way of life can have a channel. It's that easy. But then you're expected to have the most expensive equipment. You cannot live in anything but a mansion. And you're supposed to have every kind of handbag, high-end, luxury, everything, or you're shunned. Stay positive and happy and be all about makeup and sunshines and rainbows and unicorns. That's what people really, really want. But we won't watch you unless you make a rant or something really, really negative. So those are 10 things that I have taken away in two years from the beauty community. And it is the negative part of it, you guys. But those are very important 10 things that I have learned from being here on YouTube, in the beauty community, and on social media. 
The one thing to know is you can never win on social media. It took me a long time to understand that, to realize that, to not be hurt by that, is no matter what you do, there are hundreds and hundreds of people out there who will bring you down and tell you you're wrong. If they tell you something that you can do right and you do that to try to change their minds, they will find something else to bring you down about. There is no winning, there's no making people happy, and there will always be naysayers out there who are just looking to pick you apart and make you someone that you're not. The point of making this video is to tell you just that. You guys don't care about these things. We all go through these. If you're a viewer, you get attacked in the comments daily or you just, you watch these YouTubers and you never feel good enough. You're not rich enough. You're not beautiful enough. You're not talented enough. And it's bullshit. Everybody has their own ways of doing things, their own skills that they have. It may not be in makeup, but it's definitely in something else that these YouTubers you watch, they don't have that skill. You're beautiful in your own right, no matter what you look like you are unique and that makes you beautiful. You don't have to be the standard of the Instagram eyebrows or the Instagram makeup. That is lies. It's Photoshop. It's caked on makeup. They Photoshop the crap out of it to make it look perfect. Do you think that it's perfect before they Photoshop it? No, it's not. Nobody is perfect because no single person can define what perfect is, you guys. So don't get brought down if you're not rich enough, if you're not beautiful enough, if you don't, if you can't afford mansions and luxury items. Don't let anybody ever make you feel sad about any of these things. And if you're a fellow creator, you know exactly how I feel when I say these things in this video that I've said. It can anger you, it can bring you down, it can make you wanna quit, but don't. Because I really feel like we can be a new generation to make YouTube and the beauty community different. And I've always felt that way since I started my channel and I still feel that way today. So if you got the point of where I was going with this video, if you've ever struggled with feeling this way as a creator, as a viewer, as anybody, if you're watching this video and you know how I feel, you know where I was going in this video and you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see the positive side of it, I will be more than willing to do that. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!